Hello, and welcome back to Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Right, apparently, what we now need to do is... Yeah, if Horn Scent is no longer around, I think it's meant to be around here. We go to the... Where would it be? Do, 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 do. I think Main Gate Plaza. And we're wanting to go along this like first like wall that's there with like some burning boats and there should be a fight that we can do basically i think we can get there through here got him now, let's have a look. Right, got them all. There should be somewhere around here <clears throat> um some summoning signs somewhere Not sure which set of boats it's on. It might be up at these. Ah, I see a red summoning sign and a gold one. Be summoned to assist. Uh, we can either choose Hornsent or the Needle Knight. Right. <clears throat> we will be assisting the horn scent. In fact, hang on. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I don't know if there's going to be fire involved, but we'll put everything on. Here we go. I hope it doesn't take all that off now. <laughs> Worthy Hornsent, I will dispose of you before your thirst for revenge has. Can you no trust your oh, this will hurt. You knew this day would come. The nature of your kind will always show itself. Give me time. Right. So what we have to do here is essentially, to my understanding, is so... Oh, there we go. And we got the leader's rune. Whatever that gives us. Um, ooh, 40,000. Swift slash. Okay, cool, cool. Um, honestly, uh, my basic understanding of this, which may be wrong, because I'm not all that much of a law aficionado on this, I think, like, Mikola is trying to ascend 
uh, to become like the Elden Lord. So I'm guess this is I'm guessing this is meant to be set before we finished the game, but after we've done most of the game's content. So pretend we haven't finished the game, and no one's you know and I've not become the Elden Lord yet. <laughs> Mikkel is trying to take that spot. They're going to like reanimate Moog's the Blood Lord Moog's corpse. The guy whose boss arena we entered through to get here. So he's gonna like reanimate his corpse to act as his um what's it? Um I've forgotten the bloody word for it. Um Consort, that's it. Because to be an Elden Lord you have to have a consort or something, so He's going to reanimate him and take over or something along those lines, but he's cast this spell to keep everyone all goody-goody with each other while he's going about all this, so no one does any infighting and can create this like alliance of people to help him out. The spell's worn off and everyone's realised that he's being an asshole, and now we're going in to stop him, but Leda's still kind of... Uh, on his side. So that's kind of where we're at, I think. I'm not fully certain. <laughs> it's not a game that I play for the story of this. <laughs> As you can likely tell. Um, have I gone to the wrong location here from this? Anyway, Lady, as a result, is now, a you know, she's kind of catching wind that everyone else is not too pleased by Nicola. So she's kind of there going oh but we can't have all these people going about and <laughs> trying to kill Mikola kindly kindly Mikola I must stop them all and so she's out to try and essentially <laughs> she's essentially trying to go out and kill everyone before they can harm uh, Mikola, who I think will probably end up being the final boss. I'm not certain, I've not looked it up about, but the way things are going, I would be surprised if it's anyone else. So we're going to kill a demigod at the end. Again, I assume. Can't say for certain. Anyway, for now, it looks like that has put Leda off for a bit. She's not looking to murder us at the moment. Now we're going to need to... Oh, looks like we've got a company here. That was actually a lot closer than I would care to admit. But yeah. So, yeah, kindly Mikula is going to be basically getting a good old hiding coming their way after all this. Can't kill me, I'm in animation. Now this time we're not going to suck balls at this. So I think I've figured out what we need to do with all this, yeah. And then we jump up here. To avoid being shot by all these. We're through. Yeah, that's the point. They normally have arms on. I'm trying to think now. I'm sure most of the time they don't. So 
So we're now overlooking the area where we were at before. When we left. Um, too bad it's foggy. But it'd be lovely to look at if it weren't foggy. The only problem with having like a open world day night cycle, re really there should be some kind of trigger as you approach this area for like the first time. Like maybe as you, as you land on the back of that statue, it should change the time of day or at least the weather or something. So when you get here it's nice and clear and you can see over. Because it is, I, I bet that is a stunning vista to behold, I bet it is. And it's kind of wasted here, isn't it? So we've got a person over on that bridge that I'm guessing we're probably going to need to get past to, to the rest of this. I am... Yep, and you can see stuff over there. I am certain that there's probably a bunch of secrets if you really look around in here. There's even a sight of grace over there. That's a new one. Yep, they're like some kind of elite version, aren't they? That's... that's it, we got them. Winged Serpent Helm, Flame Spear. I kind of daren't do it. That has a boss written all over it on, <laughs> on there for me. Um, but we'll see. Standeth unchanged. Real thing for snakes, this guy. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. This will be painful, and I think I know who this is. In the embrace of Mesmus Flame. I 
tried to do a summon, but... Flame protection, that'll be useful. Health regen, golden bow. Ow. Damage negation. Blessing. Physic. One more heal. Forgive me. Oh. Let's go in super angry mode. Is he gonna gouge his own eyes out or something? He is! Well, I've seen a guy replace his arm with a dragon head, so what's he gonna do here? Place his testes with his eyeballs, maybe. <laughs> no, oh no, he's done something with them. Don't know what that means. He ain't gonna start doing madness affliction, is he? Is he turning into a snake? I've killed a snake before and I'm wielding a sword Soon made out of its skin, tarnished. so just be wary. I have experience of this. <laughs> Wilt thou be taken in the jaws of the abyssal serpent shorn of life? Yep, he's a giant snake. Sorry, Mesmer, I have way too many books on it. Hits you with seven attacks that you know are nigh on impossible to block because they use so much stamina to block, then you'll just you know die, right? <laughs> that, that'll get you. It's like, yeah, if you just spam like six massive fuck off attacks all at once, yeah, that will do it. You are correct. <laughs> and if you just hit me right away as I, as I get in, yeah. Thanks. At the fucking door. Just literally camping the fucking door. If I can actually get into the sodding fight, we've lost as... It sent them outside the thing this time. It didn't last time. 
So we've, we've lost his moves anyway, they're, they're gone. Right, so he does an immediate attack. Keep that in mind, because it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, he's dealing with horns and now we'll do this. Um, yeah, vitality, bow, physical damage. Uh, okay, fire protection, physical damage. Not use anything else because we're only going to go second place. Do be wary we'll about the spears, they seem to do that. And I drew the wrong flask then. Right, there we go. is dead. Ow. Let's try the cannon. Yep, cannon works. Combo attacks. Embrace thine oblivion as shall I. Oh, I hate combo attacks. I really hate combo attacks. It's like, hey, we're going to keep hitting you. You can't heal in any of the gaps here because there aren't any. Good luck. And every single one hits you like a truck if you're not blocking or running out of the way or whatever. However, it is you avoid dealing damage with your build. Not that they're worth anything, but just to get them out of the way. Fire resist. Health regen. Damage up. Physical damage negation. Blessing. I don't know what the blessing actually does. I just know that it's a good thing. Physic, and we're good to go. That's the problem, those spears. You don't think it's just a dodge roll and use the eye things thing, do you? It might be. Because that doesn't strike me as the sort of thing that would even work with the dodge roll, that just seems dumb. Monsense is kind of useless in this, isn't it? And we're probably dead. Might not be. Fire. <laughs> I 
like how each time we manage to do this, we're doing it like just by cannoning him. Maybe that's the way to do it. That. Ow. Just keep him at a distance. If he does that, let the mimic let the mimic get in. Even find an opportunity to heal there. He's just on you like a goddamn rash. There's, there's no gap when you can heal. And it's like, well, what about when you want to hit him? Oh, there isn't a gap there either. There's, he's just backflipping everywhere. It's ridiculous. Back up, back up, back up. Heal a bit. Bless. Mmm. Right, fire protect. Peace of vitality. Golden bow. Black flames protection. Fill. Severe tree. Haunted. Bloody Christ Almighty! What the fuck was that? Just swish, swish, double jump, backflip, murders your face off. Yeah, it's not so much the damage as it is the just sheer fucking mobility of the guy. Just absolute git. Uh, there, there just isn't an opening. Didn't mean to do that, meant to block, but I'd still got that equipped. Thanks. Well, Hanson's probably dead. do this, let heal horns and hand my name. It should do. Round oh we're gonna try and fly above it all then. <laughs> I've been cheeky. I'm kind of hoping that now I've got holes between phases. Plus he's slowly losing health. We've still got Hornsent in the second phase for the first time. Focusing me. Soon tears taken, 
Hornsent is dead. He is going down. He is on low. Physic flask. Heal. Oh, we missed, missed the grab. Remembrance of the Impaler. Mesmer's Kindling. Right, and it's using that Kindling that we... Oh wow, and we got a lot of runes then. But yeah, it's using that Kindling that we can now progress the main story. So as we've said, we need to... The uh, Mesmer's Kindling is required. Or that the Church of the Bud in the ancient runes of Rao or whatever it's called where we found like a tree thing here and that will remove all the thorns on the castle that will then allow us to uh, progress um, before we do that we want to make sure that all of the side missions are all kind of done and in order before we move on so now really is the last moments to get your side bits done um right but there we go so a few boss fights today with leader and then um mesmer right I think, as well, that might be... Because I'm not seeing Leela come back to the High Road Cross here. So I'm wondering if that's... If we're not seeing her till the end now. Hmm. So we might be... We might be done. Oh. I didn't know you got this. Dane passed on a message. The ceiling tree is in the ancient ruins of Rao. Is it Rao or Rao? Or... It lies beyond the high bridge leading from the first floor of the storehouse. I will join you there once I have finished the task at hand. And by finished the task at hand, she may well mean that we need to go back and just check on Anne's back. We'll do a quick check on him, see that he's, you know, make sure he's not dead or under attack or anything. And once we've done that, I need to figure out how to get the hell out of here. Is there a summoning sign? No, there is not. I don't think there'll be one at Freya's. At Freya's area, but we'll check to be sure. Right, in that case, we're going to have to... I'm probably going to go and figure out how to get into this back area. And I'll probably have to look up a guy because I'm a bit stumped, to be fair. So I'm probably going to go and do that. And then we'll probably next time do this church district, en district entrance. 
do that. I think it's... I was saying last time, I think it was like Fire Queen Knight something. It's Fire Knight Queeling, I think they're called, or something. We fought them at the uh, Church of the Crusade over here. But yeah, we they dropped a key. The key leads to somewhere here where we find the real one. Um, and we can help them out. And if we do, they'll allow us to summon them. Then we need to go and ring some bells for this guy. That should just about conclude all of our... Um, yeah, that'll conclude all of our business. We can go to the Church of the Bud and head toward the... I mean, we really are closing in on Endgame now. We're in the final act. So, we clear this. We check out all this back here. This will probably be an episode or two and following this quest line, that's going to be the whole thing. And then we uh, do the big finish here and then we'll probably have a few epilogue episodes where we fight Bale to finish it all on. And I've also been thinking as well, just as an aside, I think there was a dragon that I missed as like a boss over here somewhere. I think there's like an optional boss for a dragon that you can fight. So I might go and see if I can fight them, because they're one of the like optional major bosses that I completely missed last time on the main playthrough. So I might we might end all of this on a couple big dragon fights. Uh maximum kitted out with our best you know possible build we can do. Cause I think we are at like best possible build now. I should probably some put some fire resistance on for that fight, but whatever. You know, we've boosted guarding, non-physical damage is negated, even so when blocking. And we've got boosted physical damage negation. We are absolutely kitted out. These cannot get any better. So, yeah, I think we are pretty much set for... And this is the best our build can get at this point. And we're going to head over... And, like I said, we'll, we'll be looking to finish this once we've got into these extra areas. But we'll be starting with that next time. Probably start, if I do look up a guide to get into this, I think it's supposed to be called the Hinterlands, this. If I figure this out, we'll go in and we'll probably do that while it's fresh in my head. We'll do this uh, quest as well over here for this finite queeling in the church district. And then we'll... Um, in fact, we might want to start here first, because maybe we get out the back entrance via this. Maybe we get out the back via this entrance. Might be something to look into. I'll double check. I'll, I'll look up a guide or something just to double check. And then, yeah, it's... Once that's done, once we've done the quest of this guy down here, <laughs> then plane sailing, do the main quest, hit up the... Uh, and then hit up some dragon fights. Right. But we'll start with that next time. And I will see you then.